Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Chai Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we have a very special one because this took a lot of convincing, but I got none other than the youngest in the family. You guys have been requesting her a lot, okay? My little sister, my baby, but she's not a baby anymore, but to me, she still is a baby and she acts like a baby. We'll get into that in this episode. Amen. Mamu. Claps, guys. Talia, Talia. All right. So... First and foremost, Mama G would love to have joined us, but Mama G actually underwent eye surgery, cataract surgery, um, and she's still recovering. Yes. She's wearing like these like Snoop Dogg glasses. Like she's literally- <laughs> Terminator. I was like on live and like people took screenshots. It was like, she's literally wearing like those Terminator glasses and she's like, it's funny. But anyways, please do keep her in your duas. She's recovering and shall everything goes well. I mean. So that's why I really had to, I basically had to beg Eben to join because I needed someone to talk to for this episode because ladies and gentlemen I can't just talk about myself even though I like to talk a lot I can't talk about myself you know what <laughs> you, you know could, what you could have <laughs> could. you could have I actually could have but basically therapy with herself Amen. let's just call her a mini Papa G <laughs> in a sense no 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 when it comes to talking <laughs> they don't like to talk You don't, do you like to talk? no not really so I think the quiet like you know, the quiet, I'm very observant. observant, the quiet, the reserved. Quiet one. Like, yeah, the, listen. Exactly. The quiet, reserved qualities of Papa G went into Amen. But, anyways, <laughs> let me tell you guys how this episode even came to be and how I had to convince her. Should we talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, <laughs> next should, one. should we talk about how you even, how I had to basically force you or convince you to sit down here and talk with me? Yeah. Okay, let's talk ahead. about that. Go so. Ahead. Where does it start? It kind of starts with the fact that you don't have your license. <laughs> I know. <laughs> of course. No, but genuinely, all topic. roads lead back to you not having not your, your license. license still. I know. Do you, you realize that? Ladies and gentlemen, check this, check, check this out. You guys remember all those videos with Papa G, with me and my brother trying to teach a brown girl how to drive? <laughs> <laughs> brown girl. Okay. <laughs> I try to teach. Are you not? Are you not a brown girl? You know, I am. Girl? Yeah, yeah, okay. Trying to teach. I'm not, that's not, is that like misogynist? Like, I'm just, I'm just, just stating just the facts. Talking. I'm just, just stating the obvious. <laughs> let's keep going, bro. Let's keep going. I know you guys can relate. All my brown girls out there. No no hate or diss to you guys. But all I'm trying to say is that this all leads back to him and not having your license. Because how many times did you take the driver's test? Three times. You've taken it three times. And I failed each one. And you. And how many times did your permit expire? Just once. Your permit expired once, so then you yes. had to retake the permit, and then you had to do the whole reprocess all yes. over again. Um, when did you start this process? How old were you? It was during COVID, 2020. It was 2020? Yeah. So was what one. year are we in now? 2021. <laughs> <laughs> no, 2021. No, now she wants to go up in years. Now you want to go up in years? No, yeah. it was 2021. Are you sure? Yeah, I think it was 2021. So this journey with Eamon and the driver's test and the license and practicing how to drive started in 2021, let's say. And unfortunately, as you guys can see from my videos, those were probably the funniest videos. <laughs> okay, so first, the first time it was funny. The second time it was funny. Then it started to get to a point where I'm like, bro, when the heck? I'm started getting upset. I started getting pissed. But first, take <laughs> me through. Let's let's go through that. Let's let's talk about. Let's just say it was stressful. How did you feel when like throughout that process? And like, how did you feel when I was recording it and posting it? And everybody was like. That I did not like. Okay. When did you not? When did you start not liking that though? Like the, not the first time you're fine with it. When you get to kept continuously doing it. Yeah, right? When we kept continuously yeah. doing it. I'm like, okay, you just got to stop now. I don't so like, you actually did not, you yeah, got I hurt? Like I didn't get hurt. But you're just but like, like, I just don't like it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. it makes me un not uncomfortable. Like, I'm just like, yeah, like, bro, I'm practicing. Stop. Yeah. yeah, stop. You're I'm trying practice. to practice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a distraction. She literally almost ran into an old person when this guy's crossing. <laughs> Do you remember that? I was practicing with her. She literally almost ran over this old person. I'm like, bro. Like, bro, what are you I doing? I did not see that person. Like, dude, I said, dude, listen, listen. I literally no, no, did no, not this, see said, that person. This, this is what happened, guys. <laughs> guys, we're turning, that. right? We're turning. She's turning. And I'm sitting, I'm not recording any of this, but she's turning, okay? And then I'm like, yo, there's a person. I was like, slow down. So what did she do? She speeds up. <laughs> she did the opposite. Like, bro, I'm like, I'm no, like bro, I, I was like, no, it's called I was like, no, 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 hit him. Bro, it was something else. All I'm saying is, I been did a, not see that person. It's been a way. journey. But now, I think after those three times, you've come to a point where you just don't even want to try anymore. Talk to me about that. Like, do you not care? Actually, actually talk to me about it. Let, let's get personal. Let's get deep. <laughs> Tell me about it. 
I do want to do it. Okay. But I want to just like slowly ease into it, you know? You want to ease it? Speak up a little too. If it, I, I, I don't know if it, yeah, just, just a little louder. I want to ease into it. You want to ease into, into it? Into it, yes. Okay. What does that mean? Like, <laughs> it's I been don't four want... years, you've been easing into it. What do you mean? <laughs> Explain. Please elaborate. Like, do you not care to get your license? No. Like, what's stopping uh, you? I do care. It's just like, I don't know, it's stressful because you guys are making more stressful on me. Amen. Okay, but what about all the times that we we even get, guys, I get it that maybe I'm not the best teacher. Maybe my brother's not the best teacher. Maybe my dad's definitely not the best teacher. Dad, pop. I think I need Mama G to no, be. Yeah, but then why doesn't Mama take you? Because. Um, she doesn't want to? She's just tired? Yeah. But we also gave her like a private instructor, tw instructor twice. One, it was paid. The other guy was a family friend. He literally came through. He's like, and he's calm. He's very calm. He even helped his wife get the driver's test and all that. And she, she was very well at it. He even, you know, he said, you know what? Let me help him and out. We had extra help, ladies and gentlemen. And he <laughs> even came into the picture and he said, look, let me. So how was that experience with him? You were fine, right? I was fine. I was completely fine with him. Yeah. So you were comfortable driving yeah. with him? Yeah. Because it was a choti car. It yeah. was like comfy. It wasn't like. Okay. But you yet know. you still didn't. That time, I think the third, no. So the third time when what I was happened? taking it, yeah. I, Dude, you know made, I made 18 mistakes and the maximum was like, what, like 15, 16. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was so close. Oh, and yeah. those were minor mistakes. Oh. Uh, so I was the like. The funniest thing was the third time she's like, she's like, at least I'd finish the course because the first two times. I failed. Dude, they, they took you out and brought you right back. <laughs> but then like two minutes. Why though? Because you did something. What was the reason? The first time, I don't know, like, I think it was, like, because I turned left on the, like, on the wrong line. And I remember dad was telling me to turn left with, during this line. Yeah. But so it was Papa I think G's it was fault? Papa G's fault the no, first time. Babe, don't. Yeah, I shouldn't have listened okay, to Okay, what about the second time? The second time, what am going to happen? I can't remember. I think it's because, <laughs> oh, I was not, like exaggerating with my like shoulders or it should be oh looking. like like looking at your turn yeah, signals yeah, yeah shoulders okay. and then like i was on a red light and i was turning right okay but you know you're supposed to stop on a red light and then turn right so you didn't stop i didn't i mean i did stop but i slowed <laughs> oh down oh my god i slowed down and then they took you back right away they said no this is automatic fail yeah okay and the third time you actually finished the course i finished the course Bro, i think if you stuck with it for another time, I think it's because your permit expired. But if you stuck with it, maybe you would have passed the fourth time. But I will, yeah, or the fifth. But I will say, but I will say, I do give you credit because it's not easy driving in Los Angeles, ladies it's and gentlemen. Not it's, traffic is freaking crazy. I hate the traffic. Traffic is I a lot. I really cannot deal with the traffic. And like, there's parallel lines. There's like this yellow middle lane that gets confusing for her. It's so it's chaotic. Let's just we need say. to go to like Colorado. We need to go to like. Palm Springs, yeah, no, yeah, no, exactly, no. Obviously, you got to do it in California, but we got to go somewhere further out so we Houston. can like get you to actually like, yeah, right. Unless let's go to, back to Houston. No, not just... no, but no, but you need a California license, so we got to find like a deserted place in California and take the test. Honestly, honestly, it's yeah, Palm Springs. So. But you know what the worry is? It, it's not about just getting your test or your license; it's about actually being able to drive. Drive. And like, I get it, and I keep telling you to get your license, get your license, get your license, but. The issue is, is that you still need to know how to drive in LA. But if I have a Tesla and an autopilot, you know. A Tesla and autopilot? No, that's not going to do anything for you. <laughs> that, 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 no, you know? no, 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 that's not, no, that's not going to work for you. I'm telling you, no, that's not going to work. You need to know how to drive. But anyways, the moral of the story is this. It all comes back to the license because I straight up, she, because this is I'm trying to show her tough love you know what it is because I should have told her I was like look if you're gonna show no effort no interest in getting your license like she doesn't care she says she's gonna practice she never does she says she never says oh oh hey what'd you buy her hey dad or hey mom let's go driving I wanna go now she's never taken initiative she's never shown any like urgency to do it she just doesn't care and that's what mm. pisses me off I'm sorry like that's what I'm sorry that's what upsets me is that you're not showing any urgency mm. to do it and ever since that, it's been almost a year now. I said, you know what? I am never gonna pick you up. I am now. Now I'm gonna leave it to mom and dad because it's also their fault for not like pushing you the ways they pushed us. Like, bro, and we had our own interest. You have zero interest in doing it. I should have said, look, I'm never gonna pick you up from school, even though I have a couple of times. I'm never gonna do this because I'm trying to. 
push her. And whenever she says pick me, I said I, I literally sent her a bus route. I'm like, take the bus, learn. Because we had to take the bus. I took the bus when I was going to my internship. And when I literally took the bus, bro. But I get it. We won't make it. But either way. And then she's like, no, she's too bougie. She's like, she calls a Lyft for herself. She calls an Uber for us. But I'm telling you, like, it's because you show no urgency. So back to the point. Mama G was having her surgery and she was in a predicament where she needed to get, she needed to ride it. I would have straight up said, no, take the bus, no, Uber, do something. But because Mama G was, obviously she just went underwent the surgery and I was like trying to like let help her. Let me be her. a good son. Let yeah. me try to help her. So then I was like, let me go pick you up. And then as we're driving home, I'm like, you know, I only picked you up for one condition. And that is if you join Chai Talk, ladies and gentlemen. And she's here. So that is how we finally able to convince Amen. Does that story add up? Yes, exactly. Yeah? So yes. what? So okay, back to that driving point. I'm gonna ask you this last thing. And I, see, the thing is, again, I'm, I know I'm talking a lot, but okay. it's good. Keep going. No, see, I know. She's, I'm telling like, you, she's like, I hope this episode's only ten minutes. I'm like, no, bro, we're gonna talk. <laughs> Listen, um, who out of all your teachers, out of the family, out of me, Emma, and Papa G, who was who was a better teacher? Um. I think Ahmedbite was. How so? Because like when I was after, so after doing my like, um, I had a driver, private driver instructor and he was really helpful. And when then, when, when, when he was done, then I had Ahmedbite and I was doing it really well. Yeah. We went to a Culver City mall. I parked at the mall. Oh, you parked at the mall. Wow. And I passed the airport. And I was doing oh. so well. Really? Yeah, I was doing really well. Yeah. And Amma was doing, Amma was like calm? Yeah, Amma was calm. Yeah. And then like, and then daddy came and was like, okay. Yeah, and dad's, like, you can't, you, and then, explain that, explain that experience learning with Papa G and being in the car with Papa G. Like, ex take us through screamed. that. He <laughs> Yeah. Like for no apparent reason. Like I'm, like, oh, let's just say I'm on a stop sign. I'm on a stop sign. He just screams. Yeah. Just because I'm on a stop sign. Or like, some stupidest thing you just you will just start screaming you're just screaming yeah why do they just scream i don't know even the if you do dies. like the slightest thing or if you like it'll scream if she's going too slow because she does go slow <laughs> she'll scream he'll scream, he'll scream if she doesn't stop like he'll scream at every little thing i don't know why bro but learning with brown dads is very stressful you know we learned with even with me like i remember once i was on the freeway dad and he just went off because i didn't like properly like uh, no, you were racing him. No, no, no. There was one time when I was learning how to drive and I literally was trying to get into the next lane and I, I don't know, I was having trouble and he like screamed or something. I learned with mom. Mom was easy, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's we I had an interest in wanting to actually learn and drive, bro. I got my license when I was like 16. How old are you for those that don't know? I'm 22. She's freaking 22 now. Oh my god. Literally, if you guys but have I'm been 12. watching, if you guys have been watching, she acts 12. If you guys have been watching, us growing up, you two, you would know her as like a little little kid. You guys literally watched her grow up, cause we That's started so YouTube crazy. in two thousand and like fourteen, fifteen, thirteen, no, thirteen, kind of, yeah, yeah. But that were well, you and you were in Fousey Tube's prank, the ghost prank. Yeah, I think that was like two thousand thirteen or fourteen, 14, one of those probably, fourteen yeah. maybe. But how old were you then, bro? I'm probably like thirteen years old. How old were you actually? No, dude, you were two thousand. Yeah, you're thirteen. Thirteen. So you're around thirteen. So Eamon literally got exposed to this. Oh my God, we also did a Halloween prank on you, which oh actually God. ended up on TV. What? Do you remember that Halloween prank that we did that ended up on TV? The news channel played it. Or like a Channel 11 or something. Channel 2, Channel 4. So one of those news channels played. I remember this is back, way back. Oh shoot, so, I was on TV? Yeah. It, yeah, bro, oh, you no were on way. TV. I don't remember that. Dude, you were on TV. <laughs> so literally she's been like, a part of this internet you i mean she grew up with the internet generation but you've been a part of this i'm a gen z yeah but you've been a part of you like exposed to your brothers doing videos at a yeah. very early age that's so true so yeah. how was that experience for you like how like take us through that like what was going through your mind at that time what, like take us did you like me in the videos take us through that mm. oh that's a really good question um i mean it took me some time to get used to it at first mm -hmm. you know because i'm not Used to the cameras. You don't like the, being on camera, right? No, not even. Yes. Yeah, she doesn't like anything with the camera. And the age. um, I don't know. I mean, it was fun like going to sneaker cons with you guys. It was fun. The like events, yeah. the events were fun, and like um, seeing people, meeting people, that was fun. Yeah. It, I mean, it was a nice exposure, though. You know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, like 
I was kind of getting out there, you know? Exactly. And like, and I needed to do that instead of being in my comfort zone. Exactly. And like, that kind of took you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So the thing is, is like, yeah, because around this time when me and Amma, we went literally and with Kais and like other, we legit went on, well, first tour. we went on tour yeah. with Fusi Tube. So how was it like, how did it feel for you to see your brothers and like kind of get all like. Remember the billboard? Oh my god, yeah, we even had a billboard like in LA. That was crazy. I'm like, my brothers, wow, they're doing something huge. So how did that make you feel? (laughs) No, actually, I don't think I've ever asked you this. Like, how did that make you feel in the sense of seeing your brothers kind of like, yeah, be exposed to that or like people show love. We go to these shows, we do these little meet and greets, especially when we did that whole like across the United States. You saw people come out, show mad love. That's crazy, bro. I felt like so long ago, but that was the best times. But how did that like did people come up to you? How yeah, did, people came up to people me. Came they, up took, to they took pictures with me. They're like, oh, I love your brothers. I love you. I'm like, yeah. oh, thank you. Like, I love the support. How did that make you feel? I felt good. I felt good. But was, was it weird at all? Really weird. Yes. Yeah. For like random people, you know. Yeah. But yeah. like, then I, I think I got used to it a little bit. Yeah. When I grew up more. Yeah. yeah. This actually things makes me think because did it put more pressure on you? Let's talk about that. Hey, we got to come back to chai talk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What do you mean my No, so pressure? tell me this. Because actually, I've never asked you this. It's actually so crazy. Like, the other thing is, guys, me and her, we don't like, we're cool, right? But we don't talk. We don't, we don't talk. Deeply <laughs> about things because she, do, I don't know. Maybe it's because she doesn't give me that energy or vibe to talk about it. And I like, I don't, like, she will never come up and talk deeply about things. She just does. She's very reserved. She never talks deeply about anything. And I can't come to her either to talk about deeply stuff because She's just gonna laugh, or like she's just like she, like I don't know. I feel like I don't have that. This is what I mean. I can't go to Mama G to talk. Oh, no, let's not say that because Mama's just gonna come upstairs and go off if she hears me say that. I can't go to Mama G to talk about these things. I can't. I couldn't go to. I can't go to you. Definitely can't go to Papa G. Amma's not here. Like, bro. Like that's why. Okay, that's why I feel alone. like, bro. Like, you're who can alone. I talk to? Literally. But that's why I was, I was going back to say that this is actually crazy. See, again, Chai Talk is allowing us to actually have conversations, conversations. that we wouldn't be having and this i actually enjoy this i don't know if you enjoy this oh, but i enjoy this so tell me yeah. what type of pressure did you feel any pressure for seeing amma the going to ucla me going to usc then me going to law school and you were like six years six or five years younger than us right you're much younger eight right and six. Oh, eight and six. Oh, wow eight from amma then six for me so how did that make you feel seeing your brothers like did that put expectations and pressures on you to be like oh my god okay wow they did this they did that now i have to do this too or was it just completely, like, you didn't care? It was both. Okay. I mean, like, at least my both brothers went to a really good school. So now I'm like, okay, maybe my mom, mama, do you want to, like, put that much pressure on me? Wow. Because I'm, like, I'm, plus, like, I'm the youngest, you know, and I'm a girl, too. So, like, so I'm, like, glad she didn't put that pressure on me. So I'm, like, let me just do my own thing, what makes me happy. Speak up a little, please. I don't I hope they can pick you up. Just So, um, yeah, I just hope... My mama G wants me to make me happy, so I just chose my own path. Do you feel like, do you feel like you had that leeway to actually choose your own path and like whatever happens, and Mama G's happy with that? Yeah, honestly, yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. you actually didn't feel any pressure from mm-hmm. mom. No, you didn't feel any sort of like do this, do that. These expectations that mom had for us. Not really, no. You didn't, huh? No, because she didn't tell me to oh, do this, do this, do this, do this. That's actually so crazy. You know why so that's like, crazy? You know why I think that is? It's because I'm the youngest, huh? It's because you're the youngest, and I think because mom just got tired. Exactly. Mom poured her every right. inch of <laughs> demands, strength. expectations, strength, stress, anxiety, all into me and Ahmed. Ahmed was a first child, so she's like, she was learning and everything at the same time. And college this, college that, financial aid this, financial aid that, scholarships do this, do that. She had put so much expectations on him. Then obviously, naturally, I was not too far off. Put so much expectations on me. Do this, do that. Him, do become doctor. Him, become a lawyer. You do this, you do that. Amen. Came eight to six years later. And I kid you not, guys. When we were going through that entire stressful part, you were just a kid, and by the time it came school. to you, Mama G did not care. Yep. Let's be honest. She did not, because you feel you never felt that stress and pressure, right? No. I'm like, thank God, yeah. You did it? No. Wait, Mom's calling me right now. I wonder if she's hearing me. <laughs> Hanji. <laughs> okay, bye. Bro, I'm so weak. Mama G's still lecturing you, saying don't do this, don't do that. Okay, listen. 
that's crazy that you say that. And it's, I feel like she got off the hook. So she just, she got the lucky one. She got off the hook because she was able to even, okay, she, Mama G didn't really have these expectations of you do this, you become this, you become that. You have to get these grades. You have to get that. She really didn't, right? And now do, do you feel like it's because she put so much pressure on us and like she was just tired by the time it got to you and she didn't care. So you never felt stress in that situation, did you? No, not really. You never no. felt like I have to meet these expectations? Mm, I mean, I wanted, you know... Like, did you personally ever feel like, dang, I have to, like, you know what I mean? Like, that that pressure that me and Ahmed felt. Honestly, no. I'm so glad I didn't get that pressure. And you didn't feel it, right? No, no, So you were no. kind of relaxed. You I was just, just relaxed. I'm going to do my own thing. As long as I'm getting good grades and yeah. working hard, that's yeah. all that matters to me. Yeah, yeah. So, like, and that's what matters to my mom. So, like, yeah. Wow, dude, that's, I wish that's how it went for us. I wish. Must be nice, man. Must be nice. Must be nice. The thing is, it's like, I feel like with Eamon, it's like, it got to a point where she could have done whatever she wanted. She wants it. I mean, she's still, mashallah, you're still doing amazing in school, this and that. But that expectation, that pressure was just not really, it just wasn't there for you. And I'm so happy that you never felt it. Yeah. And that's thanks to, I guess, being the youngest, but you never had to feel it. And that's, I guess that's one of the perks of being the youngest. I will tell you the other perk of being the youngest. Literally, bro. You grew up so spoiled that it's actually wild. You grew up so spoiled that it's actually wild. Hold on. They're like, I don't know if they can hear um, the mm -hmm. background noise. Like, hold on. Let me, let me, guys, one sec, one sec. I'll be right back. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Sorry. I just, uh, there's a lot of background noise, but I'm back now. But anyways, as I was saying, you did not feel that pressure and expectations. And that's actually the perks of being the youngest. Another perk that I would say is how differently Papa how G. was raised raised and how differently you were spoiled and how differently Papa G raised you. So a couple of differences that I would say. Let's start with one is mom never put those expectations and pressures on you and you never were able to feel that and that's great. I'm happy you didn't have to feel that and at the same time you have your brothers that'll be able to guide you and take care of exactly. you. Exactly. I'll have for older brothers. Exactly. You know? So that is I guess a perk of having older siblings is the fact that you know that the older siblings are the ones that's, that went through the whole process now they can help they're, me. They're going to be able to help you and be able to they're going to fulfill the responsibilities of the parents and the moms which I feel like that's on me and I feel like <laughs> exactly. Do you feel any thirst for me? Do you feel any like do you feel Feel any like, dang man, I gotta help my brother out. Do you yeah. feel that? Do you feel that at all? I do. Yeah. No, 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 no. Actually, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Actually, no. No, actually, like in your back of your mind, like seeing like the stress, like not the stress. I'm just saying, like, do you at all feel like, man, he's doing a lot. Let me help him out. <laughs> yeah. You feel that yeah. way? Do you actually? I do. Yeah. That he's, means he's, a lot. He's, to he's me. a good one. Yeah. That that actually means a lot. That's I just I don't want like if you at least feel the sympathy. <laughs> that's that's great but i just that's that's i, I appreciate because i feel like I, I need to do something too you know yeah i need to put something into the family you need it okay yeah. yeah and you feel like that's a thing that you want to do innately yes yes yeah i will say that is something that i really really admire about him and him is very selfless she's very patient she doesn't have the tongue that i do in the sense of being like arguing back like like always arguing and debating and like yeah, and just having a little bit of fuse or short temper. Eamon Mashallah is very like, very to herself. She's very calm. And I will, like, I don't know, maybe that's just kind of just how you are. Maybe <laughs> I can ask some advice from you. But she, how do you, like, she never would ever, she would always take the pain or whatever, the vacation. She wouldn't really let it out or cry or let her show on her face. She's very like, mama would always say very sabar bachi, right? You know what I'm saying? I sabar bachi, yeah. But like, yeah, I would say that you are very like, you know? But sometimes, I mean, if you like, Push. Hit, push me too hard then like i berserk dude as if you push her that's when the nails come out <laughs> like dude there's, dude there's so many videos that i have where we're like making fun of her we're like eh, we're like we're like cinderella cinderella oh like okay that <laughs> okay that oh my gosh i oh cannot deal with you with that the Okay, a couple of funny things. Eamon barely ever had to work. The way she was grown up, the way she was raised, she was so spoiled, bro. Dad would give bring her lunch to school. She never, like, would ever clean in the sense of, like, she didn't 
There was no expectation of her cleaning this, cleaning that, or do this, do that, right? And when Mama G finally gets so fed up that she's not doing anything, she would get pissed and she would like hit her. She'd be like, what that, like, Kuchikoro, like, why aren't you like helping or this and that? And then she, then she would have to do it. She hates doing, I feel like you would hate doing work. She, my mom always says, that's what she would always say, that you always have a buta, like you never want to work. You always make a face whenever a face, I tell you to yeah. do something, right? So literally... That's what I'm saying. She grew up in a way where it was just like, bro, you're you're spoiled. The little, youngest ones are always spoiled, bro. I'm telling you right now, they're always spoiled. But but I'm spoiled in a good way, though. It's not yeah, like I'm yeah, not yeah. a brat, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah, of so course. Like, spoiled in the sense of like, alhamdulillah, mashallah, you didn't have to feel the pressure, expectations, and you didn't have to like do any of the house stuff, this and that. Or like I'm saying, like not have to like. I mean, I should get there eventually. Yeah, you will. You know, yeah. I think like, you're getting to that age. Where you, that's why I feel like you're 12, but you need to, I, honestly, I'm going to give you some advice on this episode a little later on. I will give you some advice when it comes to traveling or being able to let, make sure Momoji trusts you and stuff like that. We'll talk about the double standard stuff here and there. <laughs> we'll get to that. But first, I want to talk about little aspects of when, when me and Amon would make fun of her. Usually she just takes it, but she was, when we always make fun of her, when my mom would tell her to do something and she would hate it. And then if she's like, mom wants to go do the dishes. And then me and my brother would be like, Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella. 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 She oh would get so God. pissed. She'd start throwing water at us. She'd start screaming. She would freaking scratch us. Like it's the funniest things ever. Bro, the, oh, Ahmed would always threaten her with like summer oh, give school. Me one, give me one tear. Give me oh, one tear. Yeah, like one tear. Oh my tier. gosh. <laughs> I... <laughs> Oh. Dude, what about Amma will always tell you, oh, put you in a Sunday school, put you in summer summer class. <laughs> Aluda. 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 Oh Aluda. This is Islamic <laughs> summer class. It's okay. This is Islamic summer class. And what and because Amy just did not like to work or do anything, my mom's like, my school coach, I'm gonna make her do something. I'm gonna be like, Aloda, 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 summer, summer, summer. <laughs> summer school, like, oh my god. Or oh, read a book. Huh? Remember when you would She's like, oh, I mean, she go read a book and write a... <laughs> How would that make you feel? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, my gosh. What would he say to you? Gosh. Oh, this is... Ugh. What would he I, say? I Tell me what would he say. He would be like, oh, shouldn't I even read a book? And should like, write, a, write a pipe paper on it? <laughs> or like write an essay? Like, or like I'm like, bro, leave me like, alone. Shut up. Yeah. Literally. Like, don't you have stuff to do? <laughs> <laughs> so he would tell Momo, he's like, yo, make Eamon read a book and make her have her freaking write a yeah. whole paper on it, write a whole book summary on it, right? He would tell her to do that. Literally. And she would get so annoyed and pissed. But let's go to that. Who would annoy you the most, me or um, Ahmed? Definitely Ahmed Bai. Ahmed Bai? Ahmed Bai, definitely. Really? Why? Mm. Explain it, how? Because, like, his love is very annoying. In what sense? How does he, how, yeah. I mean, like, he's, mm, the way he teases me, I don't like. Okay. And like, um, yeah, the way he teases me and the way he like, his love is like, he just <laughs> likes to like, <laughs> yeah, hit you. Hit, yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, like a like, lovey, friendly way. He yeah. likes to hit you. And it's like, bro, like, like, bro, back up. I don't like that. Yeah. 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 And yeah. what about me? Do I usually do that or no? No, never. No. I, yeah. I feel like I just like, I'm just chilling. You're, chill. you're chilling. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Like yeah, I just let chilling. you do your thing. I don't. Yeah. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're a cool that. one. So if Emma, if you're listening to this, stop annoying her. Emma actually calls you though, right? And he just talk, he just like wants to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he calls me a lot. Every single day he calls me or FaceTimes me. Okay, how do you, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's good though. You yeah, know? you like it, right? I like it. What yeah. about when you're busy with school and working? Like you're like, bro, just leave me alone. Do you ever feel like that? <laughs> yes, because like I'm literally in the zone. I'm like studying, yeah. or like I'm with my classmates studying. Yeah. So it's just like, let me talk to you later. You know. Yeah. I will say this though, Imin is a designated chai wali. She makes amazing chai from Mama G. Mm-hmm. She's learned how to make it from first. Let me tell you actually the order. How it <laughs> Guys, of course, you have to go through the order. No, it's got to go through the order. First, my mom showed Ahmed how to make chai, right? <laughs> Ahmed made it a couple times. <laughs> then it became my turn to make the chai. This is when Imin was very young, right? This is when she was like a little baby kid, right? Elementary so then, school. Yeah, elementary school. So then I would make the chai in the way Mama G likes it. Then finally, <laughs> we were off. We went to high school. We were busy. We went to college. And finally, Eamon came. So now I'm happy that you came because you were able to take on the responsibility <laughs> of making Mama G chai. chai. And you guys know this, parents, they need their chai every single day. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of the girls in the family have become the, the designated chai wali, right? Chai wali, but yes. you do make, but you enjoy it, right? I actually enjoy it. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. right? You like making chai? Oh, yeah, you like really drinking like, chai now. I drink chai now. I'm like addicted to chai more than coffee. Can you function without chai or no? Or you need your chai? I need chai, honestly. No way. You like to that point where you need your chai. I, when I get headaches, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely having chai withdrawal. Like, I need chai. Yeah. So I'm like, without chai, I don't think I can function. But does it before, annoy you that you have... Before, I used to hate chai. I could never... I'm like, chai is for buddhis. I can't yeah, drink chai, aunties. you know? And I'm just like, no way. But then now, after, during COVID, when my nano came, yeah. I made chai for her. Yeah. And I started drinking chai with her. And I'm like, dang, I make good chai. chai. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You do make I good chai. I make good chai. They so all like, love I'm your like, chai. Now I'm loving it. So I'm like yeah. making it for myself, making it for my mom. I make mom it for you too. Yeah, you she like? did. She makes it for me too. I drink chai a little bit more so now. I usually don't, but I'm starting to now a little bit more. She does make great chai. She's a designated chai. And then now mama's like, I can only drink Eamon's chai. <laughs> so if you guys are fortunate enough to drink Eamon's chai... You guys are fortunate enough. But anyways, um, do you feel like, let's get into the idea. Like, do you feel like there's this double standard set with the sons in the family and then the daughters in the family? Do you feel like there's a double standard of like the sons are able to do stuff and daughters are like not able to do those same things? Have you ever felt that? Yes and And no. no. Okay, explain. So no it's because I know I'm a girl yeah, and I know I'm the youngest. So I know mama's trying to like protect me. Yeah. And like my safety and um Damn, you've been brainwashed. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. That's that's right. Mama G's right on that. And I'm the, we're protecting too, me and I'm yeah. Yeah, of course. yeah. You guys are protective, of course. But um also I mean like I when I see you guys travel, I'm like, damn, that should be me too, you know? Yeah, you like traveling. Like I love traveling. I just can't wait to travel. But the thing is you don't like go out as much. Right, because you're more like you're not as outgoing in the sense of you're I'm more introverted. You're yes. more introverted, and you like you're right now. You're just focusing on in your school, studies yeah. in school, right? Yeah. So the thing is, I feel like I don't think in our household, I don't think there's been much of a double standard because you necessarily never created opportunities for you yourself to go, out there. to go out. Yeah, like you don't like to like you don't go out with your friends like that. Like you know, what I'm saying you don't go out like at night or if me and I were ever go out or whatever, hang out with friends. Like you never did that in the sense of you never like had that, right? Mm-hmm. Those opportunities. You never created those opportunities for yourself. So that's why we've never able to experience. I don't think you truly experienced the double standards. Was there ever a time where you felt double standards in the sense of like, wow, mama, why are you letting, why are you letting them go? But I can't go. Like when I asked to go, you don't let me go, but you let them like, have you ever, no, have you ever felt that? No, no. I mean, whenever I want to hang out, um, mama lets me go, but that's like what once in a blue moon yeah. I go out. So like you like, barely go out. That's I what I'm saying. Especially out. at night, you're not like yeah, exactly. So that's so. the thing. So I think it's different in our house. A lot of people were ask us a question of oh, get Amon's take on these double standards and how she. But I think our household's a bit different in that sense because because a she's in more introverted. She's busy with her stuff, and she never created these opportunities for her to like like create like allow for these double standards to come up. Yeah. But there might be a time. See, as you become your studies and maybe once you get out there more, there will become a time. Yeah, eventually, where, yeah. Inshallah, eventually inshallah. where you want to travel. You mm-hmm. want to travel inshallah. with your friends. Yes, inshallah. And I know you really want to do that. Yes, I really Do you want think to. mama will let you? And Eamon's never been on an international trip by herself. She's not like, I don't know if you're not allowed to. But see, we got to prepare for that because even though you are at this age, like that's what I mean. Like that's why I feel like you're, if we still see you as 12 because you're still, I'm still, that still hasn't came yet. Those things still haven't came yet, right? Yeah. So let's talk. Do you feel like you'll be allowed to go? I really hope so, inshallah. What about right now? If you were to tell Mama G, I'm going with a friend. We're going to Paris. You love Paris, right? I love Paris. Is that your oh go-to destination right now? Yes. Paris is my number one destination Bro, she right literally, now. all her reposts of her videos and TikToks and this and that. It's all, I literally see that. I don't tell her. I'm telling you now. I see all her reposts. It's either like... <laughs> Paris. It, it's it's like traveling. Europe, it's There's one the Edinburgh Europe. one. Like you even know where Edinburgh that's is. In, that's in um, United Kingdom. Oh, okay. And like she's like posting all these Paris this, Paris that. Oh, what's your friends in Paris? I or- <laughs> always wanted to go to Europe. Before COVID hit, yeah. I was about to go to Europe trip for my senior like trip. With my who? senior Me and Mama. Yeah. Okay. Me and, your best me and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Do you feel like Mama G is your best friend though? Yeah, of okay. course. Okay, but anyways, mm-hmm. keep going. What were you saying? Um, but then COVID hit, and then there was the COVID ban, Europe ban. Yeah, the travel. The, and I'm just like, oh, now I can't go. And then I start school again. So I'm like, okay, inshallah, I'll go soon, you know? Yeah. So. 
See, the thing is, you're really busy right now, but I think there will come a time, right, where you'll be like, hey, I want to travel. I'm going to travel with my friends. Or maybe you'll go with Mama G. But let's say, for example, you, you want to go with a friend or so. Do you think Mama G will let you? Yes, if there's a lot of girls with me, you know. You think so? Yeah. You sure think, about that? Inshallah, I hope. Yes. Okay. I think I think maybe she will, but I think Mama G will be... She doesn't even would ever let you drive alone yet, but I get that. I get the reasons for that. But I'm just saying, I think... This is I've already told you this advice before. You eventually have to, she has to let me go somehow. So like I'm still trying. What, what you think is gonna be easier for you? She has let me go, but she can also like trust me. I I'm I know what you know what I mean. I don't feel like she trusts you yet, in the sense of knowing that you'll be able to like ho- I'll like handle myself, handle yourself. I don't think she'll be able. To, I I don't think she's at that level where she trusts you where you'll be able to hold your own. Do you think so? Um, yes and no. Okay, explain. So, no, I mean, um, I just, she should trust me, you know. Why? Because, like, she just needs to let me go. No, 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 why should she trust you? Because, like, um. I'm pushing you. Why should she trust you? <laughs> why should she trust you exactly? <laughs> why should she trust you? Give me one good reason why she should tell me. This is your if you're trying to build a case to tell it, <laughs> Mama, well, I need to travel with my friends. Okay, <laughs> she asked you why should I trust you? Is your answer this? <laughs> Someone bookman? Huh? Is your answer just just gonna smile, and laugh? Tell me, I'm helping you. This is practice. Why should I trust you, Amen? Why should I let you go with your friends? Because I'm a girl. <laughs> that's the worst I, I don't know because I'm a girl that's the reason why she shouldn't let you go because that stigma of like girls not allowed to travel until they're married yada 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 yeah. even though Mama G is very Mama G is open in the sense of she did it she was like very mature strong independent and she like you know her parents trusted her she, and she just was very thinks young. I'm not strong or brave enough exactly. to be able to do that yes so now how are you going to convince her is my question to you I have to show effort. Okay. And how are you going to do that? By um, just acting like a grown up, basically. Yeah. Can I help you out? So <laughs> this is the advice that I want to give you. The thing is this, is that I don't think you're at that stage yet or at that point where Mama G will full wholeheartedly trust you to be able to travel on your own and do your thing and hold yourself. You know why? And I'm giving you straight up as a big brother honest advice and i'm giving you my observations Mm -hmm. it's because you constantly allow people to hold your hand through everything throughout your entire life you've been handheld oh so you're saying i'm very dependent yes you've been handheld throughout your entire what for example comes to driving you're handheld because Mm -hmm. you have to rely on dad to take you or mom to take you right when it comes to even like i don't know when it comes to anything right I feel like Mama G's always holding hand when it came to school, when it came to um, emailing stuff, this and that, even though she did that for us too, but I feel like she put more, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. She, she held your hand a lot more. Mm-hmm. When it comes to, she doesn't like, Emin doesn't like to cook or do anything like that. So like, she also like has to like push you or help you to do those things. I think you have to start showing her. That I can do those stuff. You can do everything on your own. You have to start showing her like, like that you are independent, that you can trust me because I can do these things on my own. She just doesn't think you are strong enough or brave enough to do these things and because you haven't shown it. Makes and sense. You know what I'm saying? You haven't shown it to her. And that's why I've been telling you, like you need to start growing up in the sense of you're already becoming much older and more mature. And mashallah, you're amazing in your habits and how you are, your personality, your dean and how strong you're. You can give us some advice on that as well. No. <laughs> yeah. oh like mashallah, God. you have such amazing, but at the end of the day, I think you are still seen as a child to them because I'm still seen as a child of Mamaji, but I'm still able to do all this thing because she knows that I can hold my own. She knows Amit can hold her own. I can go live in a different... You think she? You think she will be able to let allow you? Not allow you, but think that you'll be able to live go live in a, in a complete t- different city, like go live in New York the way I did. Probably not. Go no. able to go to, tra- yeah, I let Amma go mm-hmm. live. No, right? Because I haven't shown it to her. You haven't shown it to her. So how are you gonna show up and show her? Is by acting, and being more independent. Independent, more grown up, mm-hmm. more mature. You don't ask her for like just show effort and be like, look, I can do this on my own. I don't need your help. 
I don't need, and that, what that means is take more initiative. Whether it means by like even just getting ready, for example, whether it means by like doing your make, whatever the case may be, like any with anything, show initiative that I can do this. I can, I, I am, I am strong enough. I'm brave enough. I'm old enough. I am more mature enough. I'm independent. I don't need your help. No, mom, dad, don't help me. No, I don't want your help. Don't help me. No, I can do this. No, I mean, let me, let me make you something. Nay, I'm going to make something myself. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, because like, you see me do that. I was like, no, this, no, I'm going to make my own food or I'm going to make my own stuff. I, like, You're always doing something by on, yourself. On my yeah, own. On your own, yeah. Yeah. So you need to start doing that. I'm just not good at it. But how are you going to get good at it, Eamon? If True. you're never going to do it. True. Take more initiative, bro. Like she doesn't even like, bro, your room is even like, bro, like take initiative in your room. For example, like. I, I make my bed now. Yeah, bro, she just like, throws her laundry bed. all over the bed. We're very different, I would say. But Eamon and Amma are more alike. Like, they're like twins, basically. And she doesn't like it when people say that, huh? You don't like it when you say Amma, then you're a twin. But it's so crazy because you guys are like twins almost. You get like, you we are the girl alike. version of Amma. Then Amma is the yeah. guy version of you. That's crazy, right? And I was the adopted one. <laughs> but I don't know who we I went after. found you in the trash. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who I went after. Damn, girl. <laughs> but that's my advice I will give you. I would straight up say is to be more independent, take initiative, stop being so dependent. And this goes to all the other younger kids out there, young girls out there. At the end of the day, it is tough. I'm not going to say that it's not tough to be a girl. It's probably be the toughest thing to be a girl in today's society, to be a girl in a Muslim household, to be a girl in a Desi household. It's beyond tough. And I'm not going to even compare my experiences to that because I know, even though I act like I have it hard, even though I say I'm, I'm raised like a brown girl, women have it tough, especially girls in our households. They have it tough. You haven't experienced it fully because you haven't had opportunities to do that. But I know a lot of people out there, a lot of girls out there, they probably have. But may, this is just what I'm thinking would help. 20s is your learning stage still. So I'm still in my early 20s. So let me, still learn. learning. Yeah, learn. I, I get it. In my mm -hmm. 20s, though, I mean, when I was your age, I feel like Momo Gina. When I was your age, bro, I was living on my own. <clears throat> I was in college living on my own. Do you see what I'm saying? And yeah. maybe you haven't allowed that, that opportunity as it presented yourself, but dude, like you're not creating those opportunities for yourself either. You need to go out and create those opportunities. You need to go out and out like they're more, yeah. Put Get yourself out, out there, there more. Out of Learn my comfort zone. Life and and show your parents and show your mom that you are capable. You are old enough. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes oh, the Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Yamparaje, mama. Ladies and gentlemen, Yamparaje, the Terminator's here. Let's 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 ask some questions to Mama. It's okay. She's already. They can't hear you. They can't hear you. You have to come into the mic. She's already lecturing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Terminator, Snoop Dogg, Doggy Dog. It's Snoop Dogg, Doggy Dog. So Hello, everyone. I'm high. It's the drugs in there. It's the drugs in her still, ladies and gentlemen. She's still drugged up from post surgery, but like I said, Mama G is here. She, how's your recovery going, Mama G? Yeah, move the mic closer to you. Okay, sure. The question was this. Huh. Do you Eman, did you take my side on the broadcast or did you take his side? We haven't even gotten we to that yet. We haven't gotten that yet. He's asking okay, sure. questions about... All oh, right, life. okay, okay, good. Ever, don't ever, <laughs> ever... Dude, even Let scared to tell down. the truth and take my side Never when Mama ever. G's around. I because swear to God. Because I'm her best friend. No, she did She lie. knows... Why are you forcing her no, okay. to tell her to give the answers? Like, you put fear into her to give the answers. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you do, Mom. Amen. <laughs> you see, look. No, no. The way you're the looking truth. at her right now, you I think you're the best the scared. Mom, mama or not. Just tell me the <laughs> truth. Bichotti scared. No, no, no. <laughs> no comment. Mama, Bichotti's... Huh? Uh, uh, excuse me? No comment. No, Amen. Do you think mom is toxic in any way? Do I have to say that? She's being protective. That's it. Oh, they <laughs> no, 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 no. Just first tell me what kind of mom I am. Just tell me that. You're a cool hip mom. Yeah, she's mom's best friend. They're honestly best friends. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool hip the mom. The question was this. Do you think you... No, but are you more comfortable and friendly with me or you're scared more? Okay, I mean... If, if, be, if, if, if okay. it's 100... If this is chai talk, this is chai talk, right? You, you chai talk. No, this is okay. chai talk, right? So be yeah. honest. Yeah. Why? Chai talk with Quran to nahi hai. No, it's not about that, but it's no, just about no, no, no. no it's no, just no, be honest. No. Yeah. Don't be scared that she's sitting there. No, no, no. You are more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what do you mean of me? <laughs> Don't be scared. She's sitting next to you. No. You you tell me I'm more friendly or I'm more uh, fearful. Fe fearful? fearful? Fearful. Yeah, that you are more fearful than me or you are more friendly to me. Or I'm more friendly to you or you think I'm more fearful to you. You're more friendly to me. You're more friendly. Oh, see? Okay. And there are, ve uh, on scale of 100, how many, how much percentage I'm very uh, friendly and uh, how much I am fearful? From 100, tell me if I'm 50% friendly, 50% fearful or 60%. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me how many percentage that you think from 100. Like, yeah. Is she like 60% friendly? Yeah. Or is she, and 40% fearful? Yeah. 90% friendly, 10% Bruh. fearful. No, but it's such bold, you know? Such bolo, no? <laughs> tell the truth. No, no, but just, he, they, just tell they, the truth. She, she's not going to get mad. Yeah, offended. no, I'm just be, not. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. Yeah, you're I'm not, not, right, mom? No, no. No, 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 no. Actually, you're not, she's not going to get upset, bro. Just say yeah. the truth. Like, what do you think? I mean, what do you generally think? What do you generally think? Nee, generally, 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 to matao. Okay, but I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. Yeah, of course, of course. I think yeah. more so with you. Yeah. yeah, we were just talking about this. She's never had any pressure and expectations to the level that me and Amma did. Yeah. You never did that. You were not hard on Amy because you got tired. No. You got burnt out. Because you're the no, princess. You got burnt out. Yeah, no, 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 you, no, 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 You know why? You uh. know why I was never tough on her? Uh. You know, because I I was in my midlife crisis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> literally, kind of, she wasn't tough on him at because, all, bro. You weren't tough on him at all. I was surviving so hard myself. Yeah. I was in midlife crisis. I'm figuring it out what the yeah. hell I'm doing on my wow, that makes on this sense. earth. That makes and sense. And what is relationship with the dad? I was having such a tough time. Wow. First, yeah, I was working to first. 10 years of Eamon's life, I was figuring out my situation with Tariq because we were on the edge of the uh, yeah. separation and all that. You know, Wait, what? what? Separation, I mean, the thoughts. Oh, no, that just like mid midlife, Yeah, midlife crisis and because you think, oh, this yeah, is, this is not perfect. This is, so Eamon was like, you know, whatever she wanted to do, I said, yes, ma'am. And I, because I was figuring out my life. That makes sense. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah, Go yeah. It. It's because you had me when you were old. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you didn't have me, <laughs> she's about to say your age. And then you freaking stopped her. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'll say your age. Okay, I'm sorry. Go, let go. <laughs> what are you saying? Let her speak. Yeah, let her speak. Let her speak. Let her. But you got your glasses on. You're good. Let her speak. Go, man. Huh. So yeah, she had me when she was old. So like, let's just say, don't have kids when you're old. You and think when so? you are old, old age up after thirty. Yes. Do not have kids after thirty. Why? Yes. Yeah, because thirties, you know, because after like, thirty, the woman is aging. Aging. Everything, everything is just like going downhill after that. Just, yeah, exactly. Because your whatever the medical uh, stuff is down in the moment to bring the kids is not it's over not there. Is the top of the line. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, so, there's, so, there's so many abnormalities and disorders after the age of 35. If you're in the position to have kids before 30s, your advice is to have them kids, before your 30s. Yes, exactly. But that's if you're married and if you're in the position yes. to. Like, but obviously I, like I did when I was, uh, when I had you yeah. two. Yeah. But if you're because not in the, the, Ladies and gentlemen, Eamon and um, Baji has six years of okay. gap yeah. mm -hmm. and Ahmed has <clears throat> eight, eight years, years of gap. gap. So okay. it's like she's a princess and I was, you know, done with raising two boys and also she, Okay, she was not the princess also. I'm not going to mid-crisis. Whatever is the left behind is the story. But she was very fragile. She was born um, low birth weight, four and a half pound, even though I was full term pregnancy, but we couldn't figure it out why she didn't gain the weight. She was so fragile. I that really pretty though. Yeah, yeah. I was really pretty during her pregnancy. Oh my God, I was really? so pretty. That's she's everybody, the baby. Yeah, everybody was telling me how much beautiful I got when wow. I was pregnant with her. So the thing is that so I have to be very careful because whatever she used to do I let her do it because she was so tiny to me how do you see how she sees you Emin? Oh, oh the battery died right here 
Oh. I was saying that sorry, you know the she was just cut, but we're gonna continue. Yeah, sorry. yeah. Because I was saying that she was such a tiny baby and she was uh, born premature weight. So uh, until her she was five years old, six year old, she was looking teeny, very meeny, tiny. Muchi, teeny. That's what you're saying. And yeah, teeny tiny, and you know, uh, so so it's like there was nothing um, for me to get harsh on her. There was no place to hit on her, on her. You know, I mean, the, the thing is though, Amy, do you see what I'm saying? How she describes you. She still sees you as that fragile little girl. So you have to prove to her that you are not. And how, dude, what's going on, man? Dad's in the back just freaking like pulling up a butt tub. So let me get back to the point. Let me say what I was saying. What I was basically was saying is that you see how she still sees you as this fragile Mm -hmm. little girl? Are you, what, what? when will you stop seeing her as that? She is fragile. So exactly. Yeah. Do you see that? I mean, she still sees you as fragile. So what does she need to do so you don't see okay, her as Okay, people, I have a suggestion for you. Who wants to be a Gardamath, contact me. <laughs> and what does Gardamath mean? She is going to live with me with her husband. I'm not letting her go. <laughs> no, no, all no, 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 all Gardamath. No, no, balle, balle, sasu ji ma, zinda baat, sasu ji ma, zinda baat. I will yeah, wow. I'm not getting married. She's basically saying an in-house not, son-in-law. I have the coolest no. sasu ji ma How do you feel about that? I'm not getting married. So much wow, fun. Amen's getting into that age where not marriage is going to be a thing, man. Oh, my God. Take all I the things off I me, bro. No, Thank I, I, God. I, 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 I'm telling you, all the Gardamath, no, please contact no, me. No, okay, no, yeah, I mean, oh, now you know how it feels? Now you know how it feels? I'm not retorting, okay? I'm still little, I mean. Now you know how it feels? Yes, yes, I'm still but little. But whenever you grow up, you are going to live with me. And no, you see that? And no, 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 no. You're happy too. Thank God, I'm off the hook. Thank God, I'm off the hook. I'm sorry, but I want to leave. I want to leave. Tosa, you can't leave. You can't live life without me. I am everything of her. Everything. That's why I want to leave. Amy, but you haven't shown it. You just said you're her everything because you haven't shown that you can stand on your own two feet. Even if they... कपड़ों के ऊपर जैकेट भी पहनी होती ना इसको ठंड लग रही होती है मुझे एडवाइस करना पड़ता है प्लीज 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 गो हेड एंड पुट ऑन द जैकेट आई मीन दैट्स मच आई एम इन्वॉल्व विद हर इन एवरीथिंग आई मीन शी यू हैव टू शो हर Four? Uh, no, no, no. I feel so Go relieved. For that. How wow. much I'm friendly and how much I'm She's already, You already said this. She said, no, she didn't yeah, tell me. Oh, the that's actually truth. Yeah. But let's go back to this point. Amen, do you see how you need to prove to her that you are not this fragile little girl and that you can do things without her? Do you think she can do things without you and live without you? She will you? be calling me every single day on everything if she will live alone. You see that? Yeah, exactly. Ha, ha, ha. Exactly. Advice? Maybe you'll call for advice? Yeah, true. It's not like I'll call you every single time. Okay, what's the genuine answer of the hundred? Uh, what's the split? Yeah. Fearful and truthful. I mean, fearful no, and and, uh, friendly. and friendly. Sorry. No, she is very friendly. Yeah, she yeah, is with yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, I think they do everything together. They really genuinely are best friends, and I'm happy for that. Now I'm really happy that now this marriage stuff and like this hey, she, hey, that, yo, this, this hey, attachment, yo. this hey, attachment, yo. I think now is building onto you. No, but still hey, it yo. is. But I think this bad. I'm, I'm still. I mean, you will not be sad living living with uh, you, leaving me. No. Why? Do you think I'll be crying on my wedding day? Oh no. my god! Oh. Like, peace out! Oh, peace out! Oh. 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 You guys are not that shy. Okay? Oh my god! Oh. And here we thought this sweet little oh. innocent angel, Amen, sweetheart. <laughs> oh man. This has become a long episode. Mm-mm. Is there anything else you want to touch when on? When Eamon is going to get married, then I will get married too again. Okay, so yeah, I so better have get... a new hobby. Oh, this, so you have a new hobby? Yeah. Papa G will be your hobby. Papa G. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm t- I've been telling mom to learn how to live. Alone. Uh, Alone. Wait, is my battery died right there now too? Ladies and mm-hmm. gentlemen, I think this is our sign that this episode has been running too long because the batteries are getting hot. Temperatures are rising. I don't know what's going on with our equipment today. But Eamon, you're having fun, right? Oh because God. you're a hot uh, mama is sitting on the well, hot seat. As soon as hot Snoop Doggy Dog came <laughs> through. <laughs> but any last things that you want to say before my camera yeah, dies Eamon. again? Um, Who no. you love the most? <laughs> oh my God. What's the rankings? Mom, number one. Of course you're saying that. Okay. Number two, Wedgie. Wow. Number, <laughs> number 
three is daddy. Oh my god! Is, um, <laughs> no, 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 no. She's she's wrong. No, but she's How is she wrong? That's her thing. No, no, I mean, no. tell her the truthful, friendly thing. What was it? What was this? What was the thing? You never said it. Was it eighty percent? No, she's ninety percent is friendly. Oh, so that was the truth. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways. I'm so happy, man. Aiming finally got in this. This episode turned out to be very long, entertaining, and also you were able to talk. I'm actually very happy about that. We got able to discuss some things that we've never even talked about or asked you about. It's a good therapy session. And now I know that, yeah, and now I know that Mama G is going to be more attached to you as the years go along. So thank you so much, Amy. I really appreciate you. <laughs> I mean, the, I am her sati anyways. From the bottom of my heart, yeah. And then you're going to get married and mama's going to require you guys to live in the same... You no. know, Amy, mm. Amy, thank... Honestly, I'm so happy you're born. <laughs> thank you so much. No, no, it's okay. She can live one year and... Let, uh, Mark my word, she's going to come back. Oh, after she's going to come back? Oh, she's yeah, gonna, oh, she's going to say, I want to stay with my mother. Wow, Mark And she's words. going to bring her hubby with she her. She says she's not even going to cry when she goes to get married. That's off. okay. Nowadays, girls don't cry. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Eamon, thank you for joining Thai Talk. Really, really, And we really will dance it. on your wedding too, right? You are going to choreograph and all that. We are going yeah. to do all that. Oh, yeah. wow. She said, she said I, uh, wedding for, destination. for the wedding, oh, that wow. she will all wedding. want the clothes. She wants yeah. to dress up. She does want everything. But she does not up. want you the husband. You got it all set up. She doesn't want to. Yeah, so that, make that make sense. You don't want to get married, but you have your photographer lined up. You have your destination lined up. You have a yeah. couple of, like, bro, make that make sense. She, she wants to do all that without husband. Yeah, how does that? That's see, girls. I don't understand y'all, brown girls, man. You guys are always cold. You guys are anemic. You anemic. Guys are iron yeah. Oh my god, I'm and you guys have right now. you're freezing right, right now. And you guys freezing. have your wedding plans without. Hey, man, it is what it is. Headaches, but, anemic. But with Langa, with Shadi, there is one piece also come with it. That is called husband. And what is that? Siapa? <laughs> Big one. <laughs> this is why. And when it there, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining this very special episode of Chai Talk. I'm so happy with we got Eamon on here. With, with my princess, with my princess, Eamon G, Eamon John, Eamon my sweetheart. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully next time you get, she sits down, she'll have her license. Let's hope. Let's pray, y'all. Yeah. Pray. Uh-oh. Take it easy, y'all. Much love. Stay blessed. And always, 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 always. Stay beautiful. Stay beautiful. Take it easy, y'all. Mama G, thank you for joining too. Okay, hope you feel yeah. better.